Okay, so I have one of these plaques from the Dollar Tree, the hexagon things, and I've had it for a while. I've been holding on it, holding on to it for such a time as this, and I'm going to take my silhouette scraper, and it doesn't matter if you go under the paper. That might be better anyway, but I'm just going to carefully pop this off, and I have these in my Amazon store, but if you don't, you can use one of the Dollar Tree um, or Cricut scraper, but it just, it doesn't work right for me. It will work though, but I'm just nervous about it. So I continue with my silhouette scraper and I'm just going to go around until I pop this thing off, trying not to break it, of course. And when I get it off, which is right now, <laughs> gonna, it's got paper stuck to it, okay? So all you got to do is just peel your paper off. But I won't do that part on camera because it was quite a bit. And then I used my scraper to finish scraping it off. But this right here, I tried to use the scraper and all it did was cut into it. So I quit. But that, um, that Dollar Tree scraper worked great. It got all of the paper off. Got it all cleaned up there. Threw my paper in the trash. And I have this fabric. And it is looks like a beehive honeycomb whatever I know I got it at Hobby Lobby probably last year I think it was um, but I'm sure they still have it so I'm gonna maneuver my fabric around and I'm gonna set this down and then I'm just going to take a pencil it's on the back side so you won't see this later um, I mean you will see it you'll need to see it so I'm just gonna layer this down on there and I am going to fussy cut around it after I get it traced out. I, I'm, if you want to cut it out perfect, go ahead. It would save you from trimming later, but I just, I didn't. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. I figured that if I had more to work with, that I would have more leeway. So I just fussy cut around the thing, and uh, yeah, so there it is over there. Now I'm going to take Mod Podge, and I'm going to use my little mini heat press um, if like I don't know if I said it, but anything I'm using is linked in my Amazon store. Y'all go check it out. There's a lot of neat stuff in there, and um, I got it sectioned off in different sections for different things as crafting, sublimation, household, uh, all this mess. So um, go check it out. It's pretty cool. I got some neat stuff in there. But I'm just gonna spread this Mod Podge out, and I'm not being skimpy with it, y'all. I am just putting Mod Podge like a lot of Mod Podge on there and make sure you get it around the edges because when you put this fabric down that's very important that you have it good around the edges okay so now this is heat transfer vinyl yeah heat transfer I love this stuff and that's what we're going to be putting on our fabric for our words so I'm just going to lay this down and then I'm going to take a Frixon marker isn't that beautiful, that, that black and that yellow together? Mm, love it. Okay, I'm just going to go around this with my Frixon pen. Now, keep in mind, this disappears when you heat it. I just need a mark to put my uh, vinyl down, okay? So, I'm going to, I got bee butts. <laughs> this is a layered vinyl, so I'm just going to cut my little pieces out being careful that I don't cut into the other one and I am going to put this on here in the center of the mark that I you know put on there with the Frixon pen now I'm not going to iron these down one at a time because that will move my marks or remove my marks I mean so I'm gonna just this is sticky it's you know it's tacky so it sticks to it so I'm just going to put it where I want it and then I will iron them down when they're all placed. So that's done. I'm not going to cover these. I'm just going to put my little mini iron on it. And I got mine set at 230. I think it's 230. And I'm just counting down 20, 20 seconds, okay? And my little old brain. Now, what I've done with this vinyl, I haven't done vinyl in a while. I forgot that this is Caesar. Easy Weed Stretch Vinyl. Cricut Vinyl is a cold peel. Most all other vinyls is a hot peel. Okay? And I totally forgot. So, I tried to pull the Be Kind. And it tried to pull my D up right there. Ugh. I was like, oh no. So, pull them hot. See, that was hot. Peeled off. So, I got to reheat these. 
and then peel them off. Easy peasy, but I just forgot. So this is the best vinyl, in my opinion. It doesn't, uh, the stretch or the matte vinyl is not shiny, and I love that fact. The stretch is thinner, and I just, I love it. I love it. It's, to me, the best vinyl for shirts that there is because it's not that stiff, thick junk. No, I'm not sponsored by anybody. This is just my personal preference, and I want to give you all a little tip and let you know, okay? So, I had trouble with my chubby little fingers, so I used my tweezers to put my bee butts down and line them up. I cut the um, holes out, but this will be a free printable for you to print. Now, you can print this on... What am I shaking my finger for? Oh, you don't want to iron back down on vinyl. It will scorch it or wrinkle it. So make sure you cover it with parchment paper or a vinyl sheet, okay? Um, but anyway, you can um, print this printable. It'll be... Ooh, excuse me, my allergies got in my throat and I had to clear my throat off camera. But anyway, this... I don't know what I was saying now, doggone it. Oh, this will be a free printable in my Facebook group. And you can print this on cardstock. You can print it on paper. You can print it on, oh, it'd be it'd be pretty on decorative cardstock, you know, so you don't just have plain paper. You can print on those little 8 by whatever sheets. So I used my heat gun to finish heating my Mod Podge because it was going slow. So I am so goofy right here, y'all. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm trying to pick it up without under it. I even use a spatula like it's a pancake or egg or something. I don't know what it's doing. But anyway, I get my my purple glue stick, okay? It's good for anything. And I'm just going to put glue. You'll see me get it in a minute. I'm, I'm trying my best to line this thing up. And I want it with my stuff back there. It's I don't know. It's just, I'm so crazy. I can't line it up this way. Okay, now, this is where I, I'm, I'm getting work work smarter, not harder, okay? So I just take three little circles, okay? Put the fabric down. Put my plaque on top of that. Push down, and then flick it over. It's like, why did I not think to do this in the first thinking place? I don't know. So now I am going to iron down the fabric to the thing. And I turned my little heat press all the way up. Do you want hot heat, in my opinion, to do this, okay? So you're just going to iron this. You don't have to cover anything else. I covered this because of the vinyl. You know, I don't want to melt my vinyl or whatever. So I cover it, and I'm just going over it nice and slow. I mean, this is sped up. It looks fast, but I'm going real slow. And I'm making sure that I really, really iron those edges down because I don't want my fabric peeling up and you want this good and tight down on there because when you glue your other piece down it won't stay now I'm gonna take my exacto knife and I'm gonna cut along the edge make sure you have a sharp knife blade or it will fray you can even take one out and have a fabric one and a paper one that'd be a good idea but I have to change my blade I'm all trimmed up y'all and I'm gonna take Fabri-Tac and I have it in this um, pinhead tip or smaller tip because it works better for me. And you can see here that it does because I'm just going to go around every line on this. And this thin tip um, bottle, I almost said glue dispenser, but it's not a glue dispenser. This thin tip bottle, the glue won't smush out everywhere. And that's what you want with a lot of glues, you know, no smushing. So... I am just going to stick this back down, better than what the Dollar Tree had it, I must say. At least it's even and, and aligned. And then I'm going to set something, set, 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 I'm going to set something on top of it until it dries, okay? So I'm just going to let this dry, y'all. Now I'm going to take this thin jute. I got this from the Dollar Tree, and I wanted the thin one. And I'm just going to tie a little bow. Just a shoestring bow is all I'm doing. And then I'm going to adjust it as best I can. And then, um, you know, I don't want it real big. And I'm going to glue it right on the top with hot glue. 
That is sufficient. Y'all, my daughter already claimed this. My youngest one did for her office desk. I showed it to her and she was like, oh, that would be so cute on my desk. So that's where this little thing is going. Here it is, all finished. And you can stand it up. It stands up easy, so it'll be good on her desk. But you could put a clasp or a hanger or whatever on the back. And you can hang it up, put jute on there, whatever. So it's either or, but there it is. So cute. Now, for this one, y'all have seen these everywhere, but I had to do it for a friend of mine. And I, I, maybe I'm decorating mine a little bit more different. A little bit more? Is that right? I don't even think that's the correct term. You get what I'm saying. You're, you're picking up what I'm putting down, right? So, anyway, this little egg, you can still get these right now, I think. Well, at least at my Dollar Tree's around here, you can. But it, it was so lightweight. I put cat litter in it, okay? And then I was afraid my glue gun would melt it, but actually the glue gun was better because it kept popping apart. And I had to end up glue gu glue glue gun in it. Hot gluing it anyway, <laughs> y'all. Oh, man, what a day. So, anyways, don't do this. Just go ahead and, and hot glue if you do this, okay? It'll stay a whole lot better. But the cat litter, rocks, whatever you got to hold it down, um, I, I just felt that it needed it because, like I said, it was so lightweight. It was, it would just, it's still lightweight, fall over. But, anyway, now I will tell you, I have three things of this um, nautical rope, I guess you call it, jute rope, twine, thick twine i don't know these are from dollar tree it's their little bundles okay so i'm gonna cut the um end off where the uh tape is and just get rid of that because i don't want that on there um took three of them total and a piece of another one so i had a scrap so that was like perfect and i just used it to finish off the top but what you want to do is you want to just put your rope on there and hold it down. Try to get it as centered as possible, okay? And then you're going to just take your hot glue. And this took, I don't know how many sticks of hot glue I put in here. But you're just going to put your hot glue down. Touch the rope and the egg if you can. And just pinch it and hold it. Now, I had to hold mine for a minute so it wouldn't pop off. And then... Just go all the way around your egg. See there where I had trouble with it popping? Y'all, I got cat litter everywhere before I ended up gluing the darn thing with the hot glue. You live and learn, right? Live and learn. So, anyways, I'm just going to go around here and twist the rope and glue it to my egg until I get to the end of my rope. <laughs> oh, this bad when you get to the end of your rope, ain't it? But thank God I had another one. <laughs> okay now I'm just um I'm just showing you how far I got just make sure when you glue you push up into it or you'll have gaps and you'll see your color or non-color okay now I'm at the end of my rope like I said I would be uh sorry that just cracks me up I have a weird sense of humor but anyway I'm just going to glue it up there okay now I do have to put some glue in the fibers to hold the fibers together you know how it untwines or un un rolls or undoes what undoes i don't even know what i'm saying but you know what i'm saying it comes apart okay so i just put a little hot glue there to keep my uh twisties together my rope strands strands my strands together now i'm just going to cut the other thing you saw me do it and butt it up against there and smear it with that little thing and get all the glue in there and then i'm going to keep twirling till i get right like this right here now, this looks like a hornet's nest, but yeah, it's going to be cute, I'm telling you. I've I seen the end result, okay? It's going to be cute. Um, it was wobbling, all right? It, it just, it I don't know. It wouldn't stand up, I was afraid, when I put the stuff on it, that it would topple over. So, I'm going to take this, and I this was really frayed, so look at me smearing it. I don't even know. But anyway, I put glue in there. I'm just trying not to get burned, okay? So, I... I I, I did my ends, okay, and I'm going to twist it around here and try to measure about how much rope I need and and then shorten it. I don't know what I did that for, but it work, It works, okay, so I'm just going to cut it. Now I'm going to butt these ends up to each other and then glue them so that these ends will stay together. It don't have to be permanent, you know, together because when I glue it to the bottom, it's going to stay. Anyway, now look, that just holds it. It's like a little, I don't know. Like a little holder 
thingy. That was a stupid idea. I, d I didn't know where it went. So I'm going to just put it back on my mat. I'm going to add my glue around here. Sometimes the way I think is not normal, I don't think. I don't know. But anyways, I just put it on there and then smoosh it around while it's still wet. And that's that's the way I want it right there. I'm going to um, put my hole and decorate the front where that flat part was. That, to me, just, you know, it looked better and it's going to cover cover everything up now what I was doing with my my hot my heat gun my hot gun is <laughs> I had it on low and I was heating up that glue to make it turn clear again okay so this is a wood circle I just had laying over there and I thought heck I'm gonna use it so I might not have said that I'm not sure I just take a marker and color my uh, everything but I color my wood dot okay there it is you can just take your marker after I do what I do and color your twine, but it, it just, I don't know. I can't get it. It won't work out for me that way. I don't know. You can. I can't. So now I'm just going to take the rope that I had, and I'm going to go around my uh, black circle there. You know, because you have to have, it appears like an opening, okay? And I don't know what they look like inside. I would never get close enough to find out what they look like inside. But to me, you know, this is what everybody's doing. So that's what I did. So I just, I just, uh, butt my um, ends up there together like I did the other. And just, you know how you do. You put them back together with glue and try your best not to burn yourself. And there you go. There is my hole. All right. Now. Apparently, I wasn't happy I'm putting more glue. I don't even know what I'm doing with myself. I am using the end of the glue to, to put this down until I got this smeary thing. And then I smeared glue everywhere. And I'm just making a mess. I don't even know why I'm letting y'all see this. I really don't. But here it is. It's in there. Uh, if nothing else, maybe you think I'm stinking funny. I don't know. I, why does this look like a sea monster to me? Or uh, something that goes down in the bottom of the ocean? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a weirdo. I am such a weirdo. Am I ever going to get through this? Am I ever going to stop just doing this? Okay, maybe I'm done. I don't know. Let me look at it. Yeah, I think I am. Whew, my goodness. Okay, so I got this vine. I thought this was a good idea. So I glued it down. Okay, sorry, I had to swallow. So I glued it down. All right. And I thought this is cute. This was my idea. I don't know. When I got it on, I thought, what the crud are you thinking? Because you just got a vine. It looks like poison ivy going up a tree or something, you know? I don't I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyways, it, it goes on here, and I didn't pull it off. And the reason I didn't pull it off, I just kept going with it. Because that's what it was. One of those garlands from the Dollar Tree. But I didn't want white glue when I pulled it up. So I'm just going to go with it. And y'all, it come out so stinking pretty. It is so pretty, I promise. Just just stay with me. Just stay with me. You'll see. So I got this bush of, um, or this stem of sunflowers, white sunflowers. And I'm just going to clip those knobbies off the back and then stick them down. You know, I, I, I'm trying to cover up this greenery just a little bit, but I, I'm not sure. Anyway, I had a string, I reckon. I don't know. Well, I got these bees that I cut out with my X tool. But you can find bees at Hobby Lobby or whatever. And I just colored them with my Sharpie markers and, and a white paint marker on the on the uh, wings. So I'm going to glue this one here. And then I'm going to glue the little one that's flying on top. And he's going to land on top of his little little hole there. See? Ain't that cute? That's so cute. Well, then I look and I see that greenery and I'm like, oh, bleh. So I said, well, more flowers, more flowers, more flowers. And then I think I'm putting too many flowers. So now I'm thinking just add a bow because that fixes everything, but not with this. It's too big. I need to make me one for my little ribbon because when you use this clip, I love the salon clip, okay? But when you have this slick ribbon like this, and you're using your salon clip, um, that stuff's slick, and it slides 
So I had to end up adjusting all my stinking ribbon. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to make me a little one. I'm telling you, I'm going to make me a little one. But anyway, bows fix everything. And I am going to put this little one, which has bees. It's so cute. All this come from Dollar Tree, too. It's awesome. And I'm just going to put that on top of the other one. And then I'm going to use my dental floss and a needle. Okay, once I get them adjusted, I'm going to go up through the middle. And then I'm going to go down, make sure I catch all the ribbon. And then I'm just going to go around it twice and cinch that bad boy. And then there's your bow, baby. Then I'm going to take twine. Wait a minute, I might not use twine. You, I better watch what I'm doing because I might not have used twine. I don't know what I used. I can't for the life of me remember. No, I didn't use nothing. I didn't use nothing. I didn't put nothing on this because I'm going to add a flower in it. That's why. That's why my brain was like, what? What are you doing? Sorry, y'all. Y'all, I have had espressos today, and and I am just a wired. Um, you can tell the difference between I had to eat and then I got another espresso. So here I am. You can you can tell when I when my switch flipped. But any <laughs> anyhow, there's my bow, and I am just going to put it on top of here. And I don't want it flat on top, so I'm going to kind of angle it forward there, you know, because that's what I want to do okay yeah see it it's pretty so that that's how that's going on there y'all somebody commented and said we want more longer we want more we want longer videos and more of your talking <laughs> I laughed uh I don't know why because I'm so goofy I, I don't know why anybody want to watch it but anyway I try to do short ones so that I don't sound so dumb all the time so there I am with that green thing so I'm just going to add more flowers on there Y'all, it's it's really pretty, I promise. I keep stressing that. It's really pretty. You don't have to add all this, but it's really pretty. There's the there's the flower and my bobbin head popping in. But there's the flower in the middle of the bow. And then I am just going to add a few more flowers because that vine... You know, sometimes you, you're crafting and there's things that you can't take back. But there's ways to fix them. Um... A lot of times, I just, if it's not right, I'll throw it in the garbage and start over because I can't. I just can't. But this one, I was stressed for time. I'm trying to get videos out. So I just went with it. And I'm loving, loving that I just went with it because it is so beautiful. I just hope my friend likes it because I do. And if she don't, then I'll probably keep it. But anyway, there I'm adding another flower. And I still see that big blob of green, which the greenery was good with the flowers you know they worked well with each other just not by themselves. my ribbon was fraying so I uh I burned that real quick right there is what I done I added one more flower one more flower and then one I think I don't know I added one there I think I don't even remember you just watch and see where I add these okay yep one right there y'all I can't remember I guess if I turn my head, I can look at it and see where I put them. But anyway, there's that one. Still more greenery. So I'm just going to add one right there. I think it's so, so... Look! I needed one there. I liked it there. I put it there and thought, yeah, I like it. So there's one. I told you, I think I had like four more. Added four more. I don't even know. All right, and I'm picking this thing again. Good Lord, just do what you got to do. All right, one more. I love, love, love these little flowers. I need to get, I need to get some more. Yep, right there to cover up that greenery. Yeah, I know it's in a line, but it's, it's pretty. Oh, look at it. Would you look? It's so pretty. Okay. I'll show you. Oh, no, I didn't. What the world? I took that out. I don't know what happened. Okay, well, I'll show you at the end of it. At the end of it. So sorry, y'all. Okay, I've got this glass jar, and when I first saw it at the Dollar Tree, it looked like a honey jar to my brain, okay? So, but getting these stickers off are a devil. I'm telling you. I just, I had to scrape and scrape. Now, you can use your heat gun, but I caught one on fire one time, so I'm not, I don't, I don't, I'm, I gotta be easy with that stuff, y'all. I'm serious. Um, 
Anywho, I have this transfer. It came from the Dollar Tree, okay? People hate these. I, I don't know about them. They're easy to do, uh, but they don't have sticky on them. So you really have to hold them. Y'all, I got an eraser to hold my jar. Gotta do what you gotta do, huh? So anyway, I take this transfer and I put it on here. I use washi tape to hold it down. Now, I'll just be honest with you. It didn't show up very well. It's 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 doable, but it didn't show up very well. I should have decoupaged something on there or something. I don't know, but it, it's kind of rounded, so it's hard to get anything on there. Vinyl would have looked good. Uh, but anyway, I just scraped this thing down, okay? Don't move it because... I use a popsicle stick because if you move it, you're off any. It's not going to come out right. But I just scraped this down and this takes me time so you don't have to watch me do this. Okay, so I have it on my jar. It's it's real faint. Um, I don't know. So I'm going to take Mod Podge and I want the illusion of something in the jar. You know, honey. <laughs> not just something. I want the illusion of honey in the jar. So I'm going to take Mod Podge and uh, I'm going to use, this is matte Mod Podge, okay? And I'm going to take yellow food coloring and I'm going to add quite a bit to get a yellow tone, a darker yellow. The more you add, the darker it gets. Um, but I don't want it too watery so it won't stick. But anyways, I'm just going to paint this on the inside of the jar. This... Um, had brush strokes okay but when it dries you don't see any it's just a it's just a it looks like colored glass actually um but anyhow that's what I'm doing so I'm just gonna paint and make sure I got every bit of the grooves and then I'm going to let that dry or else I'm gonna cheat and use the heat gun and then I'll add a second coat and let that dry Okay, so here is my jar, and you can see that's a little faint. Now, I'll tell you what I did at the end of the video. I'll show you when I show you. So, I had this little, I don't know, honeycomb, honey thing, honey spoon, honey scoop, I don't know. And I dipped it down in that leftover stuff. Now, what I did with it was the neatest stinking thing. You might have knew that it did this. I don't know, but look at that. When I used the heat gun, it turned to like plastic. It bubbled up, and it was the neatest thing. You might have known that. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to put twine on there with hot glue, and then I'm going to wrap over it so it doesn't come undone. I'm sealing my own string in. I almost cut it, but you don't want to cut it. Okay, don't cut it. Now I'm going to wrap it around here. I just want my... Whatever that honey thing is, y'all may know. If you know, tell me in the comments because I have no idea. I just picked a pack of these up, I think at Hobby Lobby, I'm not sure, because I thought they were cute. Honey daubers, maybe. I don't know. If you know, let me know. I'm just going to tie a knot and tie this so that my little thing is a dangler, okay? Ain't it cute? That is so pretty. Oh my goodness, these are just gorgeous, y'all. I am in love with that beehive. Um, I think the greenery and the flowers were just gorgeous together. That's just my opinion. Didn't know about it at first. And then, to let you know, I did stuff this jar with polyfill, and I packed it tight and smashed the lid on, and you can see my bee a whole lot better. I love, love, love these. Y'all know the drill. Till next time, thank you for watching. You are a blessing. Goodbye.